Yo, collect and connect with Blake and Chad. Chad and Blake. Collect and connect. Blake and Chad's collect and connect. This is Luke Chu. Dave Wrestler. Blake and Chad's. This is Blake and Chad's. This is Collect and Connect. I think that it's, you know, it's, it's right on target. It's developing, you know, I mean, people, it's always hard to manage people's expectations, you know, and, um, but as far as it looks to me, um, you know, I, I do have a little bit of a sort of an inside window to things. So I know some of the things that like, that are coming, which (laughs) would be pretty amazing, but, uh, you know, it's just a matter of, uh, uh, it's one of the reasons that I, that I kind of liked VV. And when I first, um, when I first started, uh, looking at, at platforms to do my digital art on NFTs and whatnot. Um, and I was, I was, you know, propositioned by uh, several places and were like, you know, let's do something, let's do a project. I really liked Vivi because they seemed to have like a well-defined roadmap and they were very, very like, very pragmatic about it. Like they were very like, Hey, look, this is going to take a while and we're not going to rush it, but that's why it's going to be solid because it's going to be right. And, you know, in, in an environment, especially like, you know, NFTs, digital art, whatever, in an environment where everybody was rushing to try to do it first. Yeah. You know? And, uh, and David and Dan were kind of like, Hey, we don't, we don't have to, like, we don't have to play that game because we know what we're going to do. And so, um, yeah, I mean, so like, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm at this point, I'm excited about some of the things that I've got going on over there. Um, but I'm also kind of, how can I say, uh, I'm realistic in my expectations. You know what yeah, I mean? hundred so, percent. That's yeah. fair, for sure. This is yeah, the Web3 no we're talking about over here. And, uh, you know, mm. it's sort of it's sort of like it's, it's the gradual pull towards there. You know, it took a cell phone to get to this point where we're looking on uh, Zoom chats yeah. now. So I think it's the same sort of evolution as uh, the Oculus comes into play and all these metaverses start happening. And, uh, you know, they were able to put the, the Oculus. I've, I've worn them before and their spatial or their, their atmosphere of their metaverse looks pretty cool. So, you know, yeah. and as long as they're creating like that, you like you said, it's a slow play. It's a visionary thing. And they keep evolving with the community. And, you know, that's what I love about David and Dan. You know, they're out there, you know, talking like us here, you know, connecting with the community, listening to what they have. And that's why I love the app and, uh, you know, just gravitate towards there most of the time right now. And and NFTs right now to have a platform where there's a good community, there's the, there's the yin and the yang in there, of course, you know, there's the both sides. But having the, the, the side where everybody understands that it's a slow play, you know, this is a building process. This is just starting, you know, AR and NFT or digital assets. And, you know, so as long as people understand, I think it's a it's a good movement. Yeah, I mean, it's it's one of those deals where first off, like I believe that people should collect what they like. Yeah. And so people who go into any kind of, you know, genre collecting to make money, like they're always going to be let down because I mean, if it was, if it was that easy, you know, like, like everybody would be rich. Right. That's it. But you know, you should, you know, I think people should collect what they like and look at the VV experience 
as a collector experience. And I think you said it like, look, I've been involved in a lot of uh, communities, you know, like little, you know, whatever, you know, street art communities, punk rock communities, skateboard communities, <laughs> you know, I, you know, communities with different bands, whatever, the Nine Inch Nails community, the, the Caius community, whatever. Um, and that is the real treasure of this. People need to understand you are now through VV, you are being linked with other people mm-hmm. who you will have relationships with for the rest of your life. I mean, and who knows, business may come out of that. Um, uh, you know, other situations may come out of that, but it may just be that like, hey, I'm a part of this group of really cool people. We all vibe on the same thing, right? And I mean, I know it sounds really like hippy dippy and stuff, but that is the thing that I think people need to focus on is that- I think it's the true essence of of the whole platform. Now, just to bounce off that, how much more reciprocation have you gotten since you've gotten into the, you know, web three sort of, you know, cause we heard from a lot of your, you know, we're starting to get, you know, and now being able to connect on Twitter space and this stuff, how different is that now? I mean, you used to go to like art shows and stuff and connect that way. You know, what's the difference now between that? I mean, is there more outreach or the same or how's that, how's that break down? I think a lot of it remains the same, you know, obviously what, what you hope as an mm-hmm. artist is that you hit a certain point where, the atmosphere remains the same. It just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> and so it's, it's, a, it's a lot of that. The thing with the Web3, I, I think what I've really seen is it's introduced people who, for whatever reason, never have really looked at art. And suddenly now, through Web3, they're now looking at art. And that looking at physical art. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I know it like at Decon, I you know, I had the pleasure of meeting a lot of, of VV folks, right? That came over to the booth. And that it was cool because some of them, dude, they it's like they were seeing this type of art for like the first time. And they were like, because you know, you have these 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 stereotyped ideas of what art is. Most people get raised up and they, you know, they come up through whatever public school, or whatever. And when you say art to them, they think, what do they think? They think, you know, they think Vincent Van Gogh and fucking, you know, Leonardo da Vinci and whatever. And and then, you know, and you they might think Andy Warhol or whatever, you know. Yeah. But they're never thinking a lot of them about what's happening right now. And you know what's happening out in the streets and in the in the independent galleries and whatever and so that's what i've seen i've seen like all these people kind of flooding into the art world and discovering you know my stuff a tara mcpherson a frank kozik or, and just like for the first time and just going whoa look at it's a it's a it's a it's a rabbit smoking a cigarette oh my goodness you know uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, and they're so stuck into the phone. You're here all the time. Now you got the physical in their hand. That's great. Yeah, and then, and, and well, then you know what? They get into it that way, and then they search out the physical. Yep. And then once you search out the physical, then you start like the the synapses in your brain start to connect your 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 oh, NFT with the physical. And guess what that does? Your brain starts to say they're equal. The physical is worth just as much as the NFT. The NFT is worth just as much as the, and and that's how perception starts to change. And that's suddenly you got a person who's been raised that whole life to think it's not worth anything if I can't hold it to suddenly like, well, I don't need to hold it because you're not looking at it the right way. Like, <laughs> and that's how we evolve. I mean, I know it, I'm making it sound like a big thing, but no, that's you're right. It's all about no, that's really 100%. That's exactly what it is. Because like, like you just said, the only reason why I started collecting this again, because of I was given the opportunity to get into VV. But again, you know, more or less, I run English down in Miami. I'm like, oh, this matches this and this matches this. And then, you know, well, let, let me take it a step further. I got your signature on my NFT, you know. Oh. So now I'm starting to collect, you know, 
artist on my nfts and you know i have you know quite a few now and i was able to get david you to sign an nft you know and again that's a, that's my way of collecting now i'm like i love doing it's no you know it's only sentimental because it's never going to be in the chain but again you know it's like more or less this is what i love to do you know I, and again i got your stuff out at decon you know the ap you know and just a bunch you know and that's the whole point I think of the app, you know, and again, it's not just the app, you know, I know people collect it throughout their time, but again, you know, like you said, for this generation, I think it's a great way to introduce this type of stuff again, to get stuff hanging on the walls again, and not just to be stuck in the phone. Cause you're like, wow, I got it here. Plus there. I think that's just such another great connection that, you know, again, this app has done for a lot of people, I think too. So. I know. I know. I agree. That, yeah. That it has for sure. Cause that's even with myself, I was kind of, I was always a bit of a collector, but kind of fell off and whatnot. And then once I got into Vivi and then started, you know, seeing some of the stuff and especially when they started bringing on more and more artists and it was just like, man, there's so many cool things out there and just diving deeper. And now what we got into, but it's also trying to grab, you know, find all these different toys and whatnot, or not even toys, but art, you know, works of art, adding them to the collection. Yeah. You have an NFT and we would like to send you one if you can, if you would like one, it's from our show. Uh, we would like to put one in your wallet if that would be awesome. Uh, you know, it's just another way to connect uh, something we're doing for season two now. Uh, you know, and again, it was just something we evolved into and trying to create, uh, you know, we're creating as we're going to with these, uh, with these uh, YouTube and how we're editing and maybe going to web three now. And just again, I, we would love to maybe honor you with your first NFT over there. So that'd be cool. It'd be a pleasure. Awesome. I'd love it. Let's go, man. Let's awesome. go. All right. Awesome. You named yeah. this thing Creepin' Dero, by the way. You know, Creepin' Dero. I mean, like, <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, you had a, it was like, what, probably like four feet. It was at the VV booth. That thing was dope, man. Like, did you actually yeah. make that or like you, you took, you put that in or? We did a limited, I did a limited edition. Those were big hand painted fiberglass sculptures. Wow. And, uh, and if you came over to my booth, you saw the regular colored one. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, the VV booth had the black, the shadow one. Um, and dude, they're only like that shadow one, only five were produced. Uh, they go obviously, they went into some pretty heavy collections. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I can't, I don't want to, I don't want <laughs> no, to say, you don't I, need to dox nobody. You're good. But, you know, <laughs> let, let's just say that that <laughs> one, uh, that that black one you saw at the show that went home with someone at VV. Oh man. Yeah, they, they snatched that up. Oh, so, for sure, man. I think it's dope. Yeah. So it's, imagine. You have any upcoming shows you're actually doing anytime soon that you'd like to tell us that we could plug out there? Or? Man, any man. new vinyl toys? Anything coming? Yeah. I mean, like, there are, there are, you know, um, skate decks. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll tell you this um, there are some things coming, physical things coming. Uh, that I think VV people will really Here we go. be interested in. All right. Uh, I almost want to show you something, but I'm not going to show it to you yet. But when I'm ready to show it, maybe I'll maybe just I'll throw, just throw the I'll, bottom like foot over, just so we can see what the foot. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just, we'll just stop recording. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, I think it's something that you old, and you know, and like yeah, I know we definitely be into it. Yeah, it's some physical stuff coming. There's some figures coming. Um, Awesome. There are uh, there is a a physical vinyl for the first time vinyl creeping Darrow figures are coming, oh, yeah. and there's going to be different variations. There's like a lot of weird different variations to collect. They're all limited edition, obviously. Um, and then there's another figure that I'm not really ready to talk about yet, but it'll be coming soon. Um, there are prints coming, always prints being released. The new Skate Deck series is coming. <clears throat> There's going to be new, uh, new, new, some new shirts coming. We haven't done any new shirts in a while. Um, as far as per, as far as appearances go, uh, we'll see. We're right here. We're literally in the deadest part of the year for that type of stuff, like yeah. right now. So typically, it's this time of the year where I'm starting to make decisions on where I'm going to go, what I'm going to do. So um that's what's up. Yeah, as soon as that, plan, uh, re uh, reset the button a little bit, reset and get back yeah. to it. Who back knows? To I mean, you know, reconnect. Yeah, I mean, you never know. Like, you know, who knows? That might be some I'm ex I, I'm I'm anticipating some, you know, sometime soon, like VV events, you know, where like 
people Ooh. come together and whatever. And so like, yeah, yeah, man, IRL events. Yeah. So, I mean, it's like, uh, that's one, la- that's one thing I, I, I really want to say to all the people, the VV, uh, people, like, like, I really like, it's been such a pleasure, like, and, 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 and none of it is taken for granted or lost on me. I, I feel, um, somewhat of a responsibility especially when i'm introducing people to to art like a new way of looking at art and so um yeah the vv people are so appreciated all of the vv fans and i think the vv people i dig them because i mean whether you collect because you love it or whether you collect for investment whatever if you are in the fan base and the family you are a forward thinking person. Like you, you own some, you own that next stuff. And that to me is like, I wish the world was full of those type of people. People that are like, you know, what else can we do?